Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we are going to be discussing one of my most advanced spindle cable builds, and it's not that so much uh, anything has changed as far as my uh, normal criteria for building one of these. It's the fact of what plug is being used on this cable. Now, many of you have seen the small ceramic connectors. Uh, these are really big with certain uh, actual spindles coming out of China. And the issue with these is the fact that the housing tapers so abruptly on the bottom uh, that it has to be machined properly uh, to get the actual PVC casing of the cable to be inserted. I get questions on these all the time. Will this 16 gauge cable work? Yes, it will work. Is it possible to be done properly? Well, if you look at that connector, that's the way it should look when it's done. I did not remove all of the black PVC casing around the cable. It's still well under the actual uh, stress relief. This connector has to be machined. And when guys ask me how much this cable costs, and they're shocked to find out that they're in excess of $185 to $200, depending on length and all that neat stuff, then they're shocked. They feel that they've got a great deal on a spindle, but then the connector bites them. Well, we have to be realistic in what we're doing, and I've seen these cables butchered more than any other because of this connector. You can see here I also have the larger ceramic connector. This comes on newer HY models. This one does require more labor than my black one, which is in my previous listings on my store, but uh, not nearly as much labor as this unit. This unit is the one that takes the cake, and many of you find that out after you purchase it. You can see we've got ED704 here sealing where it's been machined and potted properly so it's nice and clean. And again, double wall heat shrink used here, and this cable, once again, if you look at this, this is a perfect cable in my eyes, and I'll show you the opposite end as well. Something else I do on my spindle cables I don't discuss but it's a feature you'll never get from anyone else because half of them don't know what they're looking at, and that's deoxy gold. Every conductor on this cable has been treated with deoxy. Any cable I build is treated with deoxy. This stuff goes for about nine to twelve dollars a bottle, and what it does is it will drop the ohms and resistance of all your connectors. And if you don't believe me on that, you check out the videos I'll put in the link and uh, in the video description, and you can check them out. In audio, this is used all the time. Audio and uh, audio signals, believe it or not, and our signals are really no different. Um, anything we can do to protect everything in one application can be good for up to 10 years, believe it or not. It's amazing stuff. In our applications, I recommend applying it at least every eight months. But uh, it's something I do on every cable free of charge. Now, to tell you about the opposite end, which our ring terminals are, of course, protected as well, you can see here how they're soldered. You've got your boot. Everything here is symmetrical, okay? I get questions on that all the time. It's the way you jig your cable. If you're getting all kinds of different length leads and whatnot, you want to make sure the cable is jigged properly. And again, I am using, just pull it down, my stay puts. These are no joke. When I need to do any type of jigging, that's what I use because of that reason. And again, all of these links will be in the description. You can check them out. But this cable, to give you an idea, this is going to Dublin, Ireland. The client uh, understood his skill set and had asked me if I would assemble it, if of course he shipped me these connectors, and of course you guys know I cannot buy these separately. Uh, you get them with your spindle, you have to send them to me. This client sent this connector, DHL, from Dublin, Ireland, and then had me assemble this cable. So does that, if that tells you anything about the seriousness of what we're building here, and again, about the way this should be assembled. You can see how clean that is, okay? These are no joke. If you get these, you're gonna find out real quick how good you are because if you screw this housing up, everything here can be screwed up. If you don't machine it properly, you will not be able to get this plug on. I utilize my silicoil on the threads in order to get this to thread properly with no resistance. And again, once the threads are, are penetrated with silicoil, I can then rotate the connector and insert it properly in there and you can see you get a perfect fit. Okay, so this is no joke. And there's a reason why I sell these at the price I do. These are, again, the game changer when it comes to spindle connectors. And I wanted to do this video primarily because I get clients buying my black HY spindle cable. For some reason, people are not reading descriptions and just purchase, assuming that it's going to work with their unit. And that's not the case. There are many different spindle connectors, and these are just two. 
Um, but there are many on the market that, again, each one is individual, each price is individual based on the labor that is incurred, okay? But you can see here, once again, when done properly, what it should look like, okay? Because I get questions on this connector all the time, and again, I wanted you guys to see exactly how I do this um, in terms of a finished product, and you can see here, this is no joke. It will definitely hold up for years and years and years. And again, with soldering, we've got the lowest possible resistance, especially with the oxid. And again, I cannot emphasize enough, this stuff, guys, is gold. And when I say that, if you haven't used it on your system with any of your connectors, this investment, believe my kit's $30, this will go easily for about four years, that kit. If you use this on your connections, your system, as long as everything is tight, you are going to have the cleanest possible connections you can have. If NASA uses it, there's a reason. So, again, we don't cut corners. We try to do everything the best for our capability, and I think you can see that here. If you guys have any questions, of course, uh, or requests or require quotes, please message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. Um, you can also message me through my eDealer Direct eBay store. Video, or excuse me, the link will be in the description on the screen. Um, I will put links to all of these. I, I do have these larger ceramic connectors now in stock for HY because I get questions on guys that want to have these in stock for themselves. Um, again, different connector, but you can see what we're dealing with here. This is a little more awkward as well because you're on an angle when you're soldering. And I hope you guys can see the numbers here. Four is on the bottom. And then you've got two, one, and three. I get a lot of guys that get confused then when they look at this. They see different numbers, and again, they get confused on how they correlate. And again, the easiest way to find out which number is which, if you're confused, is just use a multimeter and check out for continuity on your pins. But again, soldering this connector, you can see where your ground is. You're going to be soldering on the bottom, and you're going to be in between a tight configuration between those leads. So if you screw it up, it's going to cost you more money. So just pay attention to what you guys are doing. Be aware of your own skill set. And again, don't bite off more than you can chew. If, if you're going to get involved with this, from the perspective of having the competency and, and being broke, you don't ever have to worry about what you need to do. And that's the true DIY. If you're willing to invest the time to learn, you'll get somewhere. But if you have the money, having the competency is nearly as important because, again, you have the money to do the job. So look at it from that perspective. When you buy the cable or buy the spindles from China and they come with unassembled components, these are the main components that make your system stable, okay? The EMI emitted from a VFD is far, it far exceeds that of any normal system as far as uh, what's being done unless the system is really, really poorly uh, designed. But overall, that's the difference and that's where the money comes in is these, these right here that are hard of your system. So again, uh, to all my subscribers, I love you guys. I hope this video has been helpful, at least in um, breaking down what you guys are looking at, especially when you're purchasing a spindle. If you don't have to buy one with this connector, it's going to save you money. I'm just going to tell you right now. So thank you all for your support. Um, if you like the video and you just found me, um, please like and subscribe if this is interesting to you. Um, thank you all for your support again. Take care.